Let's look at theorem two of the circles. Earlier we saw that if two chords M, N and P, Q are equal, then the angle that they subtend at the center is also equal. Theorem two says that if the angle subtended by two chords at the center is equal, then the chords are equal. So it's the reverse of what we learned in the previous one. This time we are told that this angle is equal to this angle or angle POQ is equal to angle MON, right? And we have to prove that PQ is equal to MN. Okay. Now, one of the other criteria that you saw for congruency of triangles was angle side angle, which means that if two sides, sorry, sorry, um, was the side angle side criteria which meant that if any two sides in a triangle are equal to other corresponding two sides of the other triangle and the angle between these two sides is equal, then both the triangles are congruent. Now let's take triangle POQ and triangle MON. In this triangle, we notice that OP is equal to ON these being equal to the radius. So we've got a site. Then we know that angle POQ is equal to angle MON. Why? Because this is what we are given to understand. It's given here. So the angle comes in. And then we know that OQ is equal to OM. Why? Because both of them are again equal to the radius. So by SAS rule, these two triangles become congruent, okay? And if that be the case, their corresponding sides, which is what PQ should be equal to MN. Corresponding sides of congruent triangles. So thus, the learning in this theorem is that if the angles subtended by the two chords at the center are equal, then the chord themselves are equal. 